Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a full background manipulation using just AI. And the beautiful part of it is that the concept we are going to be going toward is going to be a Christmas concept. So today we are going to be learning how to, you know, convert your normal studio image into a beautiful Christmas setting that will always blow the mind of your client every single time you give it to them. And the beautiful part as well is that we are doing it fully using AI, just through AI, our ChatGPT and our Gemini AI. So this slide and let's see how much we can do. For this particular one, we're going to be using this particular image over here and maybe any of the background that looks nice on it. Maybe we'll try two or three backgrounds and see the one that is the, that is the best. And you also see the way we'll take the prompt to make things look really, really beautiful and realistic. So without wasting much of your time, let me quickly get started. The first AI we are going to be using is our Tad GPT. So why are we using Tad GPT? It's very simple. To uh, get a very good prompt that is going to instruct our narrow banana exactly on what to do right so i have the image i want to use i have the background i want to use so what do i do i talk to Thai gpt now you can decide to type in whatever you want to do you can decide to type it in as a text you can as well decide to use it to do it as a voice command i always prefer doing voice command because it allows me to say it the way i want it so to do your voice command just click on this microphone signal over here or symbol over here and you will just do your voice command and touch it, it will pick what you are saying and be able to give you what will work. So let's command it. Hello, ChatGPT. All right, so I want to create a very beautiful uh, Christmas background concept for a couple. I took their picture over the week, right? So they said they want a very beautiful Christmas background and I have already gotten play I've already laid hold of some Christmas backgrounds that are really 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 so nice so I need a tent that will allow me manipulate the background using uh Gemini AI nano banana precisely they can have Twitter and notice on the background some of them would need the object to reflect on the floor some of them we also need a very, not even some of them, all of them will need a very realistic shade and also lightning matching to make the object look like we are standing right there in the background. So give me a prompt that will allow me to create that and as well make sure the outfit is going to well, this is a very high-end mirrorless camera. Yeah, and a very soft light and with a high-end lens. Of course, if you look extremely realistic, if the object needs to be scaled in or scaled out, just make things look proportional and look like they are standing there in real life. That is the prompt that I want. All right, so our chat GPT have actually listened and did it everything we said in a text format. So you notice, if I was to type all this, it's going to take me a whole lot of time. But, you know, I just said it the way I felt and gave it to me. So I'll just send it out. And allow him to do it magic. So he said, perfect. I understand exactly what you are saying. What you are trying to achieve. The law is a clean, professional, copy and paste, ready, master prompt. You can use the Gemini AI, beautiful thing, you are one. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, okay, so he said, this prompt is built to post journalism, proper shadow, floor reflection, light direction, matching scale, accuracy, and premium mirrorless camera look. So if you notice right here, ChatGPT didn't take note of the fact that I said not all will have reflector, right? It is not full reflector where it's needed. So what I'm going to do, okay, so, okay, I think I like what he did. So he broke everything down for me. If I do not want the floor reflection, I will just avoid this particular one over here and still put every other thing. I think I love it the way he did it. So I'm going to copy all this from, right from... Yeah. Okay, so main prompt used exactly. Alright, so I'm going to copy all this prompt. I'm also going to copy the reflection on and I'm going to say on to C to copy. Then right go right into my nano banana. Make sure you are clicking 
uh, the great image tool that has the banana symbol, right? Then paste the prompt you have copied, bring in your image. So this is the image we want to work with. I'll drag it and put it right in my Gemini AI. Then I'll also bring in the background I want to use. So because we selected the one that have a reflection, let's start with the ones that have reflection. So we just place it over here and send it out. Let's see the magic it does. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is looking with their shadow perfectly on the floor, properly, you no know, ballast in the background. So I will take this out. In case you do not like it like this, you know, appearing in landscape format of uh, assuming the style, the format of the background, you might as well crop it while editing or even restock the your prompt in charge it to tell it to maintain a 4 by 5 ratio because it is 5 by 4 which is landscape so you might want to go and tell it to maintain a 4 by 5 ratio or oh, let's try that the, the next one will be different so I want it maintaining I want it maintaining uh, 4 by 5 ratio and a very and have and have a very realistic background blur background blur for depths so it's going to the right the prompt but considering this thing we just said now so you notice the next one we will generate because I said we will try two or three the next one we will generate we no longer assume the 5 by 4 to assume the 4 by 5 so I'm going to have well copy everything camera lens simulator final image control C so he said prioritize real world camera physics for depth of field so I think I have to add it as well control C of course when you are done you can save press control V so remember we have to go and add extra control option and if needed so this is not a problem. I'm going to delete this particular text here. So let's do our image again. Bring it right in. Choose any other background that will allow us to create something beautiful. Uh, we can't with me use now. I think deep we work. Let's try this. Click it over here. And send it up. Okay, we have something beautiful. So do you notice the way you push them out, place them right in front, put the background backwards, the little, and give us the background blur. But I do not like the blurring in the image. It looks very, very unrealistic. So I'm keep to a cut, go back to my chat GPT and adjust it. Right? So the blur is too much. It's too unrealistic and the image is not professionally composed in the background Control in the background so let's try again just copy still writing still writing still writing okay so Let's copy it again. Control V, bring, out, bring in our image. And of course, our background. Beautiful. So I think I like this one. The blur has been reduced. And, uh, but I feel the background is distracted for this image. So I'm not going to go for this background. Look for another background entirely because that is now looking distracting the colors and all of that. So let's pick up another background. I think this dread here is going to be really, really matty on the image, right? So I'm going to paste it, but I'm going to remove the one that talked about reflection because where they will be standing will not be needing a uh, reflection in it. So let's send it out and see the way it comes out. Oh wow, this is my favorite. 
is in my favorite title. So I'm going to save this one. Going to save this one and try one more. So that will be the last one. Going to let me save it where the rest are. So I'm going to go back to my very first one. Because the next one I want to do will not be the firing. I add the selector and all of them. I'm going to use this exact one like this. Okay, so I'm going to press Ctrl V and just bring in the image I want to use, which would be better now. So let's try something dark and see the way it's going to work on it. Oh my, this looks stunning. This looks Turning. This looks stunning. The part of the background is dark and they are actually expanding out. This looks really beautiful. I'm going to have well fit, right? Then maybe we'll go one more to run and recall it. And I'll show you one more pick. One more pick. I will call it a bit. So, uh, which one are we going to use? Of course, our image. And uh, maybe this one. Let's try this one. Huh? Have we tried it? I think we have. But let's try it again and put the way we move on our image. Oh, wow. This looks really nice. Uh, except for the part that I don't really like the way the shadows appeared on the clock. So I'm going to give that a pass and try something else. I need just one more. And the other people. This glass to one. Let's try it out and see the way it works. What is going on here? I don't know banana is going. I think I have to open up a new chat. Or sometimes whenever you generate, you know, a lot of images at once, it tends to get confused and this is something that is not what you are testing for. So all you need to do is to open a new chat. You upload your images and continue from where you go. They notice just there was a random white man's image that we did not even ask for. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Easy. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save all of this. Once in save, I'm going to show you how you can now convert this uh, images to something you can use as a photographer. Because one thing you notice over here is that all the images you downloaded are already 1,000 kilobytes. What does that mean? The quality is poor, right? And with the quality poor, you will not be able to use the image much, do a lot of things. You will have a lot of the pictures. So what do you do? Very, very simple. I'm going to select all that we've downloaded, but I think with three. Drag it right into Photoshop. Right here in Photoshop, first of all, I'm going to use my Macu to, to remove the Nano Banana logo placed over there. And once the logo is gone, go to your image, go to image size, make sure your resolution is now set to 400. And of course, your width and pixels, reduce them to like 6,000. Press OK and it blows off the image. So, what it just did is I tried to, you know, increase the quality of the image. Now you can make a duplicate of your background, go to filter, go to other, go to hyper, and maybe keep it somewhere around three. Press OK, change the blend mode to overlay. You automatically get sharpness in front of your image. So, if you feel like you feel want to do more, you can now, you know, take them into your camera raw and make a little adjustment. So like it, I'm going to drop it down a bit, drop it down a bit, increase my exposure. Ah, uh, we're losing contact. Beautiful. Work. Open up my shadows a little, then go all the way down to calibration and put pins of saturation in the image. Stuff like that. Then generally pull it down with, and this is it. So press OK. I'm going to repeat the same thing I did across the other images. 
So I won't have to go back to my camera of data again to repeat this process for them. So I think this does not work on this. Let's see if we work on this. Beautiful. Does I likely too much to repeat it? Do it again and redo the opacity. So from now, all I need to do is just to take the image out as a JPEG file and it is ready to be used. Same thing over here, although we need to crop, need to crop in a little. Let me go into our camera raw for this one. Because we need really, really serious attention on them. And to do that, we use two tricks. Maybe our uh, effect, the netting effect, it does the midpoint top, you bring it very close to the center where the couple. There's okay. Nice one. So we can now just push a little contrast in here and then. Uh, Contour alternate S, save it as JPEG. Go to save and do it for the last. One, this one, all I need to do is just for the image. Press OK. I love the way it is looking already. Go to image, image size, change 72 to 400. Change the which is 6000. Press OK. Close it up. And you are good to go. So this is how you can create spawning Christmas concept. For your client, turning Christmas background for your client. Tell me the any of the images that you prefer, or maybe that is your favorite in the comment section. If you want to get access to all this background, because if you notice, we have a lot of background, and we thought you only create. If you want to get access to this background? Comment and press it in this video, and go to the description of the video. You will see the link to our Telegram community. This background will be made available there for free to anybody. That done. One more time, thank you for watching. See you on the next one.